So I have a lot to talk about with respect to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., okay? So let me tell you something. Let me explain something to you. I'm conflicted. Why am I conflicted? On the one hand, he's a crank. On the one hand, he is a major crank. Okay? He's like uh, one of those anti-vaxxer guys. He's like a QAnon guy. You know what I mean? He's just like a major crank. On the other hand, and this is perhaps most important, he's a thought. Okay? He is a thirst-trapping thought okay let's go so butterface so i'll say this much okay he's a bit of a butterface so I don't understand a couple things. One, why are you wearing jeans to the motherfucking gym? Okay. Two, that's not that many push-ups, dog. What's happening? And this is very interesting because he... He's like, I'm not even going to do the whole like form policing. Like that's not a real push-up bullshit. Whatever. He's like 700 years old. But I saw the other video, and I'm sure some of you have it. Please send it to me. Where he's trying to put up like 110 pounds. And failing to do so. Like this one, yeah. Everyone was like, everyone on Twitter basically showcased how fucking little they know about weightlifting. Because everyone was drooling over this video. And I thought to myself, like, what? This is like, like the average 16-year-old who just started weightlifting can do this weight. I'm not going to touch the bar until I see it. Like, I'm not a big time. I've never been like, a, oh, dude, like, imagine doing that weight. Like, that's not that much uh, type person, right? But struggling with, like, 110 pounds is... When you look the way you do, when you have like, what, 60 years of weightlifting experience, like your muscles do not correspond to the weight that you're putting up. You're like, something about it is like very odd to me. What's happening? Like, I actually don't understand this. Okay? And I'm serious, and I know that there's a lot of weightlifting Andes in this community. And I'm sure you saw that. And you saw the 8 rep max on, like, 115 pounds or whatever. And, and you were probably just as confused as I was, right? Like, because it makes no sense. Like, he looks the way he does, and yet, like, what's all that muscle for? How is he not able to put this shit up? It's also incline, which is harder than straight bench, still low weight, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What do you mean? You don't need to be that fucking jacked to put this weight up. Steroids make you strong too, so anyone saying steroids is dumb? No, I do think he's on roids. I just don't understand why he's not stronger. Solid fluke you take. Zero reps. <laughs> All the ivermectin pumping through his veins isn't helping. Does steroids even make this make sense? No. It actually doesn't. This is like, this, this makes more sense. I, I just, I don't know. Even if it's like at the end of his workout, it's very odd. Could be fatigued, could be late in his workout, could have injected synthol. I guess the only, I guess I would say the only thing that makes sense is that it's the end of his workout. 
Matt's tweet about this was funny. It's an L for posting his, like, I mean, I put my final set out there all the time. I used to post more of my workouts on my alt, if you guys recall, right? I, uh, where is it? I mean, there's some videos that you can find very easily, right, of me working out. Let me see. Mostly just, like, photos of uh, Kaya. I mean, even this, like, this is my last exercise. I'm not going low enough because my uh, back is fucked up. But, like, how much is that? I think they're 90s, pretty sure. Yeah, they're 90s. That's not inclined, though. I know, but my point is, I don't have... 60 fucking years of weightlifting experience. Okay. Hiding that he gives leg days, those straight cut jeans. And it's a dumbbell. Thomas, take on a cycle. Let's look at it. Yeah. I've been asked about RFK Jr.'s protocol, and it's a pretty box standard old guy on TRT physique. He's probably been physically active a lot during his life, and having a mid-high reference range, testosterone levels perpetually, perpetually at his age will make you look like that. I know, but it still doesn't fucking make sense. HGH is really not commonly used for normie vanity purposes, especially not by older people. By nature, it prevents cell apoptosis, and older people are very prone to developing cancer cells, so you're basically just asking for cancer by taking HGH at that age. Personally, I believe everyone should have access to HRT if they want it. People like RFK Jr. should be advocating for all gender-affirming use of HRT because he clearly enjoys it too, as he should, as anyone should. I do agree with that. I, I, think, I think Muhammad is right. I, I mean, I, it's... Actually, I don't know. I thought TRT was like much lower doses that would not necessarily make you this fucking brolic. By the way, this is hilarious because we're like thinking about what his routine is, which of course is ironic because he's a fucking anti-vaxxer. It's hilarious having an anti-vaxxer and, and Joe Rogan, who is also another anti-vaxxer, talking about how like vaccines kill you while they simultaneously are taking a metric ton of like not completely tested supplements that are, you know, either legally in the gray area or completely illegal in the case of Joe Rogan. And... Uh, you know, at that point, you're not afraid of big pharma when it's giving you fucking massive gains, but you're terrified of big pharma when it's a vaccine. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's very odd. It makes no fucking sense. But then again, remember, Joe Rogan, Joseph Robinette Rogan, is an anti-vaxxer while he simultaneously shills non-FDA approved supplements all the goddamn time. Yeah, didn't RFK uh, get hep C from sharing needles or some shit? That is true. He did get that. The boys, you want it? You want to come through? We're talking about we're talking about his uh, RFK Junior steroid regimen. Perfect time for you to enter the fold. Uh yeah, he looks fucking brolic. But I want him. I want. I don't know why he's not stronger here. You want to put that out of here? Oh, you guys got me gifts. Oh my god. Okay, folks. Uh, the Aussies have entered the building. Okay, hold on one second. We're going to, here, just pull that chair up uh, and un unscrew both of those mics and move it closer. RFK Jr. got hep C from sharing needles with Anthony Kiedis. I, I heard that. I don't know if that's, uh, I, I didn't know if it was real or not. Um, a second Aussie has hit the Hassan headquarters. Yes. I like how people are saying shit like this is a dude who's not vaccinated and he's healthy. What about all the dudes who are vaccinated and healthy? What? I just, you know, there's, I, 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 like I said, I think it's fucking objectively hilarious to be an anti-vaxxer who roids, which is like, you know, definitely, uh, not great on the body. Uh, certainly has like, I mean, it certainly has benefits. I'm an advocate, but also.
Hello. How there do you I go, sound? boys? You sound good. I think you got your your lighting looks nicer than last time. Yeah, yeah. No, we fixed Beautiful. it. Beautiful. We're so we're so tanned. We're tanned um, and orange. This is great. Last time you guys were here, you brought me some gifts. It yep. was balls. It was literally kangaroo balls. This is a real yeah. kangaroo ball. I never even took the thing off of it. Good, good. This genuine product was time. harvested in process processed in accordance with NP and WS rules and regulations. <laughs> Is a kangaroo scrotum key ring. I like it that they're saying that as if it makes it better. They still shot a kangaroo and then cut off its Yeah, balls. fucking like, hell. No, 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 this was ethical though. This yeah. is genuine Australian souvenir made in Australia. Australian made. I keep this uh, by my side. It gives me good, uh, you know, it gives me good luck, I think. Um, but this time you guys brought even more gifts. We brought, we brought lots of stuff this yep. time. Okay. I think they're better. We've got Ribena. Number one, Ribena, it, which is what... I don't know what this is. I've only seen a t-shirt. Yeah. I've seen your t-shirt, and I t told you, if you want to get me something, give me a Ribena shirt. The I tried to get don't the shirt. Exist. Yeah. The only, the only reason I have that shirt is because I used to hand out Ribena in supermarkets to people, like oh. free samples. And that's, that's a This is a black currant fruit juice syrup. I feel like this is one of those things where, like... It says very clearly on the American Customs Board, like, do not bring this <laughs> into the country. It's highly illegal. Well, it's just fruit products, and you just it, yeah. Did you no, take no, anything no when you're coming in? No, no. Yeah, you didn't even. You're illegal, dude. This yeah. is fucking bullshit. You're a communist, and you brought it. Yeah, no, I'm not a communist. I'm yeah. not a communist. Yeah, yeah you can't prove you that. Anymore. You can't prove that. I've never been a member of any party. Yeah, why would you? What this I fucking think? guy, dude? What? He's a social democrat, and he just wants his own Not kind a in here. Democrat. No, he's he's a capitalist, and he I'm loves he loves. And I love America, and he loves America. What do you mean? He's <laughs> right wing. He yeah, he's right. fucking Tory. He's actually a monarchist. We got you another another gift. Yeah. Um, from the Commonwealth. Wait, there is no fucking <laughs> way to commemorate the ascension to the throne of His Majesty King Charles the Third. September 8th, 2022. Fucking is, hell, mate. Is that English or Australian? I'm know? trying to do fucking to a little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit of both, yeah. And now you can have some tea. He, he now I'm doing fucking, I'm do you, doing do you something. Drink tea? No, not oh, really. Oh, man. We fucked up. Okay, this is uh, Airy Edge. This is sick. Guys, uh, my my specialty commemorative, uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of the of the Royals. He looks so hot in that picture. I've never seen him look like that before. Yeah, he does look they sexy. They gave him a jaw. They flattened his his wrinkles. They, they, yeah, they they yassified the king. <laughs> yeah, they were like, this motherfucker looks ugly as shit normally. <laughs> okay, that's fire. I, you know what I'll be drinking with this? My fucking Rebena. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, synergy. Fucking Rebena. <laughs> Do you know how to drink Ribena though? No, how do you drink what? it? You just Wait, there's a way to drink it? Yeah. Oh, this is like a syrup. It's like a syrup. So you don't, you have to you mix Oh, you don't hit it raw. It. Yeah, yeah. Because that's happened like, I heard from a lot of Russian friends when they came to Australia, they would drink the cordial and stuff, just pour it into a cup and then drink it. And they were like, why Love do this. Australians like this? This is horrible. I've said that a lot about yeah, things that you guys never. enjoy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't have an issue with Vegemite. Like I've, I've had it, you know? But it's not like, it's not great. No, it's just salty stuff. And there's one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a, one, is, one last get. This is from North Korea. This is the most valuable. No um, way. We got this print when we were there, and it's, it's a bit tricky to, to, <laughs> to bring Dude, it in the dude, fucking, what's his face got killed for this? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Australians <laughs> one, auto warm beer zero. <laughs> oh, my God. It's sad. It's, it's not a hand oh, painted what it, one. It ripped in the fucking. But yeah, there's a little bit of a hole in it, but it's it's cool. It's a, it's a North Korean hole. <laughs> yeah, yep. we escaped. This is actually nice. sick kind of as fuck. Tinge on it that you can tell it's been in a room where everyone was just smoking. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you stole this. Of course, stole it of from course. the hotel. You stole this from the hotel. Yep. And you didn't go to jail and tortured no. and died. No. So how does that work? Is it because you're I a think commie? He was, just, he was just weak. You know, he, just, he was just fucking yeah. <laughs> fucking auto. <laughs> He's got to hit him. Got him. Isn't that what he stole too? He stole a poster, yeah, he stole right? A poster. He, but he pissed but he, on it. That was the thing, wasn't it? We pissed on this, but that was after uh, when yeah. we already left the country. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, what you yeah, gotta okay, do. Okay, okay. Yeah, you gotta piss on it afterwards. Yeah, okay, yeah. this is sick as fuck. Um, yeah. Okay. 
It's, it's, this is fire. Does anyone in chat read Korean? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, say? yeah. What does it say? Wait, you guys don't know what it Who says? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it could say it's like horrible. You've never looked at what this says? We saw that it says 2012. We know the year it does from. say that. You're right. We. Okay, yeah, I'm going to look. Someone's going to make it up. I'm gonna. Yeah, isn't there a I'm just gonna thing? Google Translate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. this entire time you've had this in your. Yeah. You had this. We and did you it never. With some of ours, and they were very entertaining. What do they say? Like just all Americans must oh, yeah. die. Not a not a single bastard will enter. Wait, let's yeah, see. Yeah. Let's see. It'd be so good if it somehow says "fuck us on" or something. If we're, I were not that organized. That would be amazing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it would be like that, but you know they wouldn't say that because I'm their bravest. Okay. That it's just translated the number. Not the yeah, <laughs> it's not translating the... Oh, it says Jusha. Jusha 101. Chapter 101 is what it's translating <laughs> to. Jusha 101 or chapter 101 up top. So is this just a poster for like a university course? Jusha 101. <laughs> Jusha 101. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh, that's it. It just says Happy New Year. Oh, that's cute. That's beautiful. Should have brought this in December when we were last year. I don't think it's translating the, the last part of it, though. Congratulations on the new year. <laughs> Happy New nice. Year. <sighs> that is really sweet. So what's happening? There's missiles fucking flying it's, in the poster. It's, I feel like the, the, the soldier is keeping the kids safe on their toboggan. While they're toboggan. Yeah, yeah well, the, the little kids are toboggan. Is that what it's called? I don't know. What do you guys That's call what it? we call it. What do you call it when you go on a sled? A sled? Ah. Uh, we call it tobogganing. Okay. We don't have any snow in our country. <laughs> no. uh, so we can make up whatever. They're, they're <laughs> sledding. The little kids are sledding. And the and the dude is, the North Korean soldier is like watching over them with binoculars, which I think is kind of odd, but. That's the thing. The American imperialists always want to stop you from sledding. Yeah. And yeah. you need a strong government to keep you to safe. Yeah. Right you, need, you need the revolutionary uh, Jusha forces to. to it's such a beautiful Protect person. it while you're bobsledding. <laughs> toboggan means tobogganing means trails in the sled. I learned toboggan from Calvin and Hobbes. Okay. Tobogganing doesn't sound like an Australian word. I presume that was American. Toboggan. Toboggan. It sounds pretty Australian. Toboggan. <laughs> it's a great word. I never realized how dumb. In it Serbian, toboggan means slide. You oh need. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. So you it's somewhere need, from you need. You need all those missiles. For also to stop Americans from stopping the children from tobogganing. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was the whole point of the Korean War. Yeah. They were sliding what? too far down south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were having too much fun up they north. <laughs> and they had to stop that. America was like, no more of that fun that you're having. Toboggan means slide in Spanish. Okay, oh, well, I brought you guys absolutely nothing. Man, except for uh, the Kit Kats, yeah, as a matter that. of fact. That was nice. We can do a Kit Kat Ooh. taste test. Hell yeah. Have on you stream. Eaten them on stream yet? No? No, nah, I haven't yet. There. But we can do that. We can do that later. Um, but before we do that, we're going back into the steroids. We're going back into a couple different things. First of all, Jesse Waters is replacing Tucker Carlson. Um, which Jesse you know, Waters is a guy? Jesse Waters is a guy, yes. Oh, oh you don't even know yeah. Jesse Waters. Yeah. You don't know yeah. all of our fucking yeah. reactionary freaks. Um, but anyway, that's a big L for Fox News. But before we get to Jesse Waters, uh, we're, we were talking about RFK Jr., who would be the most brolic president. Yeah. He's so ripped. Which I think is, like, I'm conflicted here because on the one hand, like, yeah, he's a crank. But on the other hand, I do think that, like, if you're jacked, you should be president. I think so. I think that's, like, a that should be the qualifier. I think it probably does a lot for we, the country if you look at the we had a pretty man. We had a pretty jacked president. Who? Um, what's his name? Tony Abbott was pretty. Oh yeah, but he's not. St- he was not steroid jacks like this. Well, oh, is that the guy who like got lost swimming or something? No, 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 no. that was Harold Holt. But Tony Abbott was just. Uh, he's got big ears. I think he's. Um, got, I think he looks good though. I think his body looks what is better it, than Tony, Tony Abbott. A B B. And maybe like swimmers or speedos. Oh d- wait, what? Yeah, he looks good. Oh, gee, oh he yeah, looks I remember this. Really yeah, he's good. fucking. He's svelte, dude. But he's, he's got a nice like, cock too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize there were cock photos of Tony Abbott. <laughs> yeah. Is that two balls or is that? Yeah, two sideways balls. It's cold out. It's cold out. Two you got to you gotta add a couple inches on it. Bro, why is he always shirtless? There's I mean, so, I'd be shirtless if I look like that too. There's so many. Why are there so many photos of him shirtless, dude? 
I don't he's, understand. He's just a healthy, happy guy. When RFK becomes president, the same thing's going to happen. If he's yeah. in charge, he'll just be naked everywhere. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on board with that. Wait, uh, there's even <laughs> wait, with the print. No, that's not real. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, no, that's there's like real. a tremendous amount of shirtless is, photos is that of this. Prince William. Yeah. Who, no, who's the other man? No, it's not Prince oh, William. No. It's not even from the same day. No. These are from like many different. His balls got bigger this, on this day. Yeah, because he's not out of the fucking pool, oh, dog. Sure. Duh. Yeah, like, what are you thinking? Tony Abbott eating an onion uh, with oh, the skin right. on. Oh yeah, yeah that one. We've done that already. He's already. They've shown that. Okay, We've there's done every niche Australian thing. Bro, what gimmick. the fuck? <laughs> even no, I more. Like it he he does look like <laughs> just a normal dude. Like that's how they get you though. Yeah, that's how they trick you in Australia. Like so, so you guys already had the jacked uh, leader yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, how did that work out? No, it wasn't, wasn't great. No, yeah, it was entertaining though. Yeah, okay. He's well, probably while the funniest I, president, prime minister we've had. Okay, hold on. Uh, while I while Let's I play this for you guys, because uh, this is Greg Gutfeld gushing over uh, RFK Junior's sexy ass body. I'm gonna go open the door. <laughs> Sick. Wait, do Fox News likes him? I mean, I, I guess they, they just... Is he a Democrat? Well, they like him because... Wait, I'm stuck here. Um, oh. They like him because... Like forward, forward. Yeah, go forward. <laughs> they like him because he's a disruptor. <laughs> right. And he's an anti-vaxxer. And he's going to beat Joe Brandon. The way. <laughs> This is very clever of him. Yeah. He's not calling out Joe for being old and feeble. He's allowing the viewer to make that comparison himself by just showing what, what great shape he is. He is. That's a natural. I mean, I don't. I'm not making an accusation. I'm not saying that he might be doing testosterone with a. Is that, with a, a, uh, is that a lot? No, it looks like a very little bit thing to bench. I mean, well, you can't tell. What if each of those plates is like a mega thing? Yeah, it's, it's like made, made of, of tungsten. Yeah. yeah, that is weird though. What are they saying? Is it? I think it's not. That's much. 95 pounds. What's 95 pounds? It's like, like 40 like kilograms. 40, 50 kilos. That's not. That's. I mean, it's it's like. Still better than. It's nothing. Better than me. But it, it's not nothing, but it's. Yeah, not amazing. Let's see, 90 pounds. Let's keep going. What is it? 90 pounds in kilograms. For, it's exactly 40. It's 40 kilos. That's not much. No. So this man's definitely on something for him to look this Wait, can you just do steroids metal. and do very, very tiny weights and still look that no. I think you still have to do the work. I think you still have to do work, yeah. Uh, uh, a double of uh, Ozempic, but, but who knows? But it's interesting to me, and I know that uh, you know a lot of people think that he's fringy. Why is he working out he in jeans? Cer certain beliefs about vaccines. He's, at the, he's at the beach wearing jeans? Because that's a hot guy thing to do. Is it? Yeah. You Seems like a homeless guy you, thing to do. No, you casually just walking by, you see a place to do push-ups. You're like, yeah, fuck this, I'm taking off my shirt. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This, none of this was planned. No, it's just a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks amazing. How, do you, how does his son read this chat? This is like making me feel like I'm going to have a seizure. Yeah, we need a bunch of you guys to unsubscribe because this is just too yeah. hard to... <laughs> yep, stop typing. Thank you. <laughs> But it's so interesting to me when you when people that are considered outside the world of health look like that, mm. and the people who are criticizing him, like Hotez, who looks like he spent his entire life in the cake aisle at Shoprite, it's pretty funny that there the is no such thing as a cake aisle. Experts, <laughs> Actually, maybe there is in America. Sick, yeah, there but it's is. the people with the unorthodox ideas that look like that, and I think it's because people who are into health and fitness. Look at his. Look at this guy's face. Who is this guy? No idea. But he's got a, a bit little, melted. He's got a little twinkle in his eye when he's talking about his body. Of course. Of he's course. like, what's, what's happening there? But you reckon this guy has a good body? That's the main question. This guy? Yeah. I mean, he has the same head as the other man. As RFK. As RFK. And he's got that that look. Maybe he is. Maybe he's ripped as I well. I think that's just his, his shoulder pads. Are, tend to have an open mind and, and their mind gets too open. Yeah. So they'll be, I'm going to try this supplement. I'm going to try this hormone. But I also think this, so you get that kind of weird thing. Last point about, I think- What's it, his name? What's this guy's name, everyone? Which guy? I don't know, I'm asking them. I don't know. Yeah, he loves that man. They love him because he's Greg uh, dethroning- the, the demon Brandon, you know what I mean? Yep. That's for the, that's the reason. 
how does he sound when he speaks? Though? Oh, he's so like a r- gruff. Oh, he talks like this. Yeah. So, oh, according to the Chavo boys, at least w- this is what Felix told me. He like may have gotten. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how he like got his voice to be that way, but I think he got like Hep C from sharing needles or something. Oh yeah, and it's confirmed that he's done steroids. He he's he's publicly said this. No, 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 no. He he would never say that. I don't think he's like these guys. Always like promote RFK Junior. from he from his father in law. He was just doing steroids <laughs> with his. Let me see. From my father in law. Okay. Um, he sounds like he's about to cry all the time. Yeah, he's like he his voice is like fucked up. Let's see. Let's see what is going on with his voice. Oh. And aside from many of his controversial claims, Kenny Jr. has drawn attention to his rare voice disorder, spasmodic dysphonia. Kennedy Jr. shared in 2007 in, in an issue of O, oh, the Oprah magazine, about his disorder, saying the disease didn't hit me until I was about 43. Wait, what? Just a I voice used to have disease. a very strong voice. You used to have a strong voice. Spasmodic dysphonia affects roughly one in 100,000. The disorder affects the muscles in the larynx by preventing vocal cords from vibrating in a way. Uh, the disorder can cause breaks in speech or strained voice in a speech that may be difficult to understand. I mean, surely there's footage of this man speaking before and after this condition. Yeah. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. faces charges of heroin possession in South Dakota. I mean, that makes me like him more, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's like... But that's kind of cool. Yeah, the thing is, like, if you're out there doing heroin, like, you're not allowed to shit on vaccines. You know what no. I mean? <laughs> heroin is, you know, no. kind of like a vaccine. I think heroin was probably nicer For back sadness. in the day. When yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 like, you also can't, you know, it, it's fine if you're doing heroin, I guess. <laughs> it's a weird clip. Yeah. Uh but but I am on board with uh, with with steroid usage, very famously so. I've advocated for it many many times. <laughs> but like also, you can't be against vaccines again. Yeah. yeah, steroids are also a type of vaccine for, for not steroids. being frail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. From not getting pussy, yeah. it's the vaccine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you get more pussy. Is what you're saying, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank exactly, you. Yeah. I thought you were. About, for a second saying that like steroid users don't get pussy no, and no, I'm no, here no. to defend them. No, no. Every steroid user. Yeah. It's famously. Like, it's like pheromones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also just do, uh, the fact that he's done heroin makes me feel like he would understand at least a large population that's, you know, discriminated <laughs> against a lot. Like oh, he'd, drug users. He'd be like, you know, he'd I be like, like, oh yeah. Or maybe they'll make it worse. I feel like he'd come down harder on them because you got off heroin and everyone else is lazy. Maybe he's still on heroin. He might not be on heroin. He could no, if he was on heroin, he'd be way cooler. Yeah. Like, this is like, this is this is cold turkey activity. Like, be, <laughs> dedicating <laughs> your entire life to fucking stopping people from getting vaccinated is, is <laughs> only something, only something that uh, cold turkey motherfuckers would do. So, RFK Jr. apparently did heroin. <clears throat> he might have just been a dealer, though. He's just in possession. No, I think, I mean... I, I, In possession, he was sticking out of his veins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was dealing it out. Um, he was just probably keeping it all to himself. Look at him. Is it normal for people to wear jeans at the gym in America? <laughs> RFK, RFK looks like this, and instead of Jesus taking the heroin, he's getting the jab. Yeah, this is actually a, this is actually a vaccine needle. And Jesus is trying to stop him. Um but anyway, so he's he's a very weird kook. Uh, he's a very weird guy. But the weirdest part about this is... That's him. The weirdest part about this is that he's not lifting that much. That's what yeah, we're trying we were to ask Chad. We, we, we were can't. saying is that it doesn't look like that much. It's not that much. Are you it's, sure it's not like tungsten? Like some crazy yeah. metal? It's literally only like a hundred and... What is it? We were uh, saying 90 pounds. It's like a hundred pounds. A hundred and... Okay, but maybe it's like a humble thing where he's like no because if it was him just lifting massive weights people would be like oh, oh it's yeah, definitely it's fake and it's lightweight at the end of his sets bro uh, <laughs> well, why weren't they filming during his sets yeah. yeah I don't understand why they would be foolish enough to film at the end of his set 
Oh my god, is he drinking uh, prime <laughs> energy? That pisses oh me off. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. That pisses me off. Wait, and it this it's motherfucker. Angled. It's angled. He did it on purpose. This motherfucker doesn't take vaccines, but he's drinking prime <laughs> energy? Bro, what the fuck? Do you reckon it's possible he's sponsored by Logan Paul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> Logan Paul set up a 501c4 for RFK Jr.'s campaign. He's giving, he's funneling dark money. Into RFK Jr.'s campaign. Pretty cool being the oh. first YouTuber lobbyist. I thought it was going to be us. Yeah. <laughs> it still doesn't make sense. I need to see him put up more weight. Yeah. Where is the gym? Uh, the Mecca of bodybuilding. Gold. gold uh, oh, here in LA. Yeah, this is in Venice. You should go work out with him. Um, I would love to. That's not even a joke. I, I would love to do that. Doesn't by the end of his set. I believe. I mean, dude, I just would not like. Why are you posting? Why are you putting up a video of you failing to fucking put up eight, like eight rep max for 115 pounds is weak sauce. Even at the end of your fucking set, it's just not good. Like I think that, but I reckon there's. He, but it's there especially. Logic. It especially is not good when you're this fucking yacked. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> How old is he? Sixty nine, I think. So that, that's that's pretty old. That's old. Yeah, that's older than my dad. He can't do that's that. That's old. Yeah. Yes, he's definitely very old. Yeah. And he looks good for his age because, like, yeah, he's probably on TRT. But it still doesn't make sense to me at all that he, again, and I keep repeating this over and over again, um, like there's the, there's the footage of him doing this, and then there's the footage of him doing push-ups, and both of them look terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I don't this know, is from the same I don't know what, a, what a 69-year-old man actually usually looks like when he's doing push-ups. I looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Look at okay. that. If the camera panned over to fucking uh, the other side of the gym, you would see like eight dudes older than him that have like eight packs ripping fucking three plates. They should be president. Gold's gym is uh, like I literally, that was my experience with Gold's gyms. Like that's why I never went back. I went to the Mecca when I first moved to Los Angeles and I was like, oh man, this is so sick. This is where Arnold, Arnold, you know, this is the same equipment that he used, right? And I went there. I sat down on one of the fucking benches. I turned to the right and there was, like, a literal 80-year-old grandpa with the fucking beard and everything wearing, like, one of those douchebag cutoff yeah, uh, shirts. Yeah, he was Where, like, yeah. no, 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 it worse. He was wearing, like, a like a New Jersey, I'm going to bar A type uh, shirt where, like, he cut the sleeves off, but he didn't stop at the sleeves. He cut the sides off, too. So you can see, like, his entire fucking <laughs> rib cage all the way down to his, like, you know, dick V's from the side of his fucking t-shirt that he cut Beautiful. the sleeves and the entire sides off of. And I turned around and I saw this motherfucker and I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm leaving. Like he just, he was so cut. He was so jacked. I was like, nope, this dude's like 80 years old. He's out of control. Okay. I remember being scared when we were at the gym. When just we in were, general? Just in general when you're the guys like that. And they would always chuck their weights down. As yeah, well. make loud noises. Make the, And then just make like grunting noises. And you're just like, fucking... Stop. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying to be a weak guy here. It's fine if you're doing heroin, I guess. 